Let's talk about the goddess Isis and what's so spectacular and special. So the worship of Isis goes back thousands and thousands of years. So it originated in ancient Egypt, but her temples spread all over the Near East and throughout Europe. So she was worshiped in so many places in the ancient world. Now what's powerful about Isis is that she has roots pre-patriarchy. So as a goddess, she is more whole. Let me explain what I mean by that. After patriarchy, what you find a lot of the times in the Greek Empire and the Near East and places all over the world is that goddesses became split. You could either be magical, powerful, and like move mountains, or you could be a lover, a mother, and a servant of your husband. So you can see this in the Greek goddess Hera. So she's like the queen of the Greek pantheon, married to Zeus, and she spends all this time chasing her husband's lovers because he's cheating. Isis, however, is a lover. She's married to Osiris. She's in a devotional marriage. She's a mother, the mother of Horus. And she's also the goddess of witchcraft, of magic, of birth and death. So she has this ancient wholeness to her. There's a huge split in female psychology where we've been taught that we could either be high priestesses of divine power or devotional wives and mothers. And Isis represents this original whole of what the feminine can be.